And first we have a big football coach saying that the other day, and now here's the athletic director. It may be the most significant football program in the country coming out and saying that. What should we take from that? I think what we take is that these are very real conversations that we kind of thought were happening and we've heard were happening, but now we know for sure they are happening. And even yesterday, Alabama's athletic director, Greg Byrne, was in a meeting with the football oversight committee with Mark Emmert, the NCAA president. Many, you may see them return to action and not have the other couple or maybe more states in the conference be able to play football and other fall sports. The other thing that I thought was really interesting in talking to Greg Byrne is they are planning right now to have football season basically as normal starting on time in the fall with fans in the stands there at Bryant Denny Stadium over a hundred thousand fans at capacity there they're planning for that to be what this looks like and he even said right now on their campus they have students there on campus because a lot of them actually live there and they've already returned back these are not student athletes but just as it relates to the conversation around having students and maybe not not having athletes there or either or this is all something that's going to continue to develop and I'll reiterate once more that through all of this they all keep saying from the college football and college sports in the fall so side of things that they have time on their side he also pointed out that toward the end of May early June is still that timeline for making decisions about the summer and then of course the fall all right so there are 11 different states in the SEC. There are 11 different states represented, Bobby, in your conference in the Big Ten. You're there in Columbus, obviously, played at Ohio State. You do the talk show there. What do you think of this idea, again, that it sounds like here are big voices saying, hey, if we can play, we're going to play. And the schools who can't, then they're not going to. Yeah, I think it started with James Franklin when he talked about